Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us look to this crucifix and look to the blessed sacrament. And all of you may offer you our intentions and all your prayers are going to be answered. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today the Lord gives us a blessing from this cross. Luke chapter 23 verse 34. Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus has forgiven all his enemies. Brother and sister, you and I are going to receive a blessing that is gift of forgiveness. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. And this gift of forgiveness is needed to get answer of all our prayers. That is needed to get a healing of all our diseases. That is needed to be healed of our inner wounds. That is needed to be freed from the dominion of the devil. That is needed to receive or a grace to see God Almighty. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So looking to Jesus on this crucifix. Today the Lord gives you the gift of forgiveness. God forgives your sins and my sins and we will be able to forgive others. Amen. Amen. And also we will be able to pray for the transformation of our enemies. And we will be able to love one another as Jesus has loved us on the cross. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the same time, the Lord says, I will take vengeance. Vengeance is mine. I will take vengeance. Do not take by yourself. But I will take vengeance against your enemies. Don't take it. That give it to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12 verse 19 says, Vengeance is mine. I will take vengeance. So we have to forgive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the Lord says to you and to me, Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. So the people who offended you unjustly, people who stand against you unjustly, there are many. But you have to look to Jesus. I have to look to Jesus and entrust the matter to the heavenly court. He will take action against your enemies. But we are not taking any action against our enemies. But your property or your money, is illegally taken by somebody you have to get it back through the legal procedures that is not against of forgiveness forgiveness means do everything without hatred towards anyone without an intention to inflict destruction or pain upon anyone that is called forgiveness look into this crucifix receive this gift and offer all your intentions Forgive to all who offended you unjustly. Entrust the matter in the hands of the Lord. God will take action against your enemies. Because that is written in Romans chapter 12 verse 19. In the name of Jesus, Jesus of Nazareth, I pray over those who are sick, let them be healed. Those who are afflicted by demons, black magic, spell and curse, let them be freed. Those who have been wounded, afflicted by tension, anxiety, worries, phobia, fear, psychosis, neurosis, let the Lord heal you now. The Lord Almighty may bless your family. If your family is on the verge of Separation, the Lord may unite you right now. If it is on the verge of divorce, let the Lord give you supernatural love. If you have been suffering from childlessness, the Lord may give you the grace to conceive. Conceive in the name of Jesus. If your finances are very bad, the Lord gives you wonderful finance. If your court cases are going to be judged against you and uh, Justice is going to be denied. The Lord, the just Lord gives you justice now. Ask, you shall receive. 
offer your intentions now i bless all the intentions that we have received today through the chat box as mass intentions email petitions sms whatsapp regular mail telephones intentions that you have shared with the covid prayer warriors let all these prayer intentions be fulfilled when we forgive others our sins are forgiven that is the first miracle that the lord gives to us our sins are forgiven praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah do not take revenge upon someone instead you give that revenge part to the hands of god almighty god will do the revenge even though we do not ask god to do revenge but we just ask god lord i surrender all my enemies into your hands you may do with them whatever you do want to with do with them praise the lord praise the lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus you and i are offended by others you and i are wounded by others you and i are sometimes crucified without any reason but when we purposefully forgive entrust the matter and the enemies and the case in the hands of jesus he will handle it and our sins will be forgiven praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus psalm 69 verse 4 my enemies are outnumbering of my hair without any reason there are enemies without any reason because of professional jealousy how many of you are the victims of professional jealousy or victims of jealousy kindly lift up your hand the lord gives you relief right now in the name of jesus i pray over brothers and sisters who are the victims of jealousy jealousy in the professional field the lord may set you free now 265 persons are the victims of professional jealousy and the victims of jealousy they are released being released right now praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord joseph in the old testament was the victim of jealousy of his brothers and they put him in the barren well god rescued him and he was in the jail there also he had forgiven and he was released and his brothers wanted to see him as a beggar in egypt as a slave in the egypt but after some time they had seen him as sitting on a golden chariot as the king of egypt just after pharaoh joseph was the most powerful authority in egypt praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah what are you not brother and sister if you are the victims of the jealousy of other people entrust the matter to jesus and forgive the people who stand against you the lord forgives your sins your prayers will be answered your mind will be consoled and comforted the lord will elevate you promote you as the boss in your company in the name of jesus i pray that the lord may set you free from professional jealousies right now hallelujah hallelujah what is the first miracle that we receive when we forgive our sins will be forgiven matthew chapter 6 verse 13 and 14 when you forgive others your sins are forgiven without any reason you have a number number of enemies matthew 6 verse 13 end of the lord's prayer the lord says the lord says your prayers are going to be answered hallelujah hallelujah thank you, thank you jesus we also pray rescue us from the evil one do not lead us to the temptation or to the trial verse 14 says when you forgive from your heart when you forgive others and their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you this is the first miracle in the name of jesus i pray all those who have been online right now from different religions and from different cultures different nations let your sins be forgiven 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God has visited us, brother, sister, right now. God has visited you, visited your nation. God has visited your sorrows. Today is the last day of your sorrows. All of you may say together, today. Today. Is the last day is the last of day my sorrows of my sorrow today today is the last day is the last of day my sickness of my sickness today today is the last day is the last of day my sinful life of my sinful today is the last today today is of my my addiction of my addiction praise the lord praise the lord whatever you ask in your heart and look to jesus now and uh, be online your prayers are being answered sickness are being healed intentions are being fulfilled thank you jesus thank you jesus praise the lord praise the hallelujah. Lord. hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus the lord may forgive all your sins and the lord may give you the gift of forgiveness the lord may give you the grace to forgive everyone from your heart as jesus has forgiven you from the cross Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. All of you who are online have received this gift through the forgiveness when we forgive others our sins are forgiven and if you do not forgive our sins even though it is forgiven the effect of that sin will remain there. When we forgive the consequence of sin will be deleted from our life. Matthew 18 35 In the same way if you do not forgive to your brother or sister my father in heaven also will do the same and will not forgive you Jesus said if you do not forgive your offenders I will not forgive you even though you have received the forgiveness of sins and now you have hatred towards someone and do not forgive others all those sins which are forgiven the effect or consequence of that sin may not be completely removed according to this parable but when we forgive and pray for our enemies the lord forgives our sins and consequence of sins will be cancelled let us say together Jesus 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 forgive all my sins forgive all my sins I will not continue any of the wrong actions I will not continue any of the wrong I am ready to forgive my enemies I am ready to forgive my enemies I will deal with my enemies I will deal with my without hatred without hatred I will get back all my dues and will get back all my dues through the legal procedures through the legal or through mediation or through mediation I will take legal actions I will without action, hatred without hatred towards my enemies towards my enemies in jesus name in jesus. amen amen so today your sins are forgiven the burden of sin is gone your sins are forgiven but the lord says forgive others hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus